Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, SciTaker. Finally friends, I'm back with another epic battery rating test comparison between all of these four smartphones which you lot of users are actually waiting for. Yes friends, these are going to be really epic comparison because I, I'll try to do the battery guns mobile game battery rating test continuously in this all smartphones. If the like target of this video reaches about 2K, then next video I'll try to upload comparing with the IQ7 device, POCO F3 GT, MI 11X device and POCO X3 Pro or maybe the Realme GT. So that's going to be my next video. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Don't forget to reach that uh, like target of 2K. And during this process, I'll try to connect to the Wi-Fi connection and smooth and extreme settings with 70% of the brightness. These are the settings which I'm trying to use exactly in this condition. And I'm really very, very, very much interested to see how this phone's going to perform. Because these are tests which I'm trying to do after the recent A.18 update in the Realme X and Max and after the recent update in the OnePlus Nord 2, even in the POCO F3 GT as well. So all these three devices received the August security patch update. And this is my new phone entry to the smart in the studio, which has got the, I think, July or July security patch update still, June, I think so. But still, let's see which phone gonna survive this kind of extreme battlegrounds mobile gameplay test. So next, I'll need to show you exactly what kind of refresh rate I connected, obviously, because you should know that's the one most important thing. Right now, I'm using the refresh rate of 60 hertz, as you can see, friends, clearly, in all the four smartphones, reach to the 6 all the 60 hertz only I've selected in all the four devices and you can see my room temperature is only 28 degrees there is no AC there is no cooler even right now the fan is in I think in one speed because if I turn to keep on two speed the papers will go away that's the reason so it's only in one speed it's a kind of real life situation friends I'm trying to create that is the reason I did not even install any kind of AC in my room now let me do to clear everything and start the Badigans mobile game and before that let me show you what kind of Wi-Fi I connected because that's also another thing you should know about what kind of frequency I mean. So 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. Let me to open the Wi-Fi connectivity in all the phones. So all the four smartphones are connected to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. As you can see friends clearly. So don't forget to hit that like uh, target 2K friends because definitely 2000 likes. As soon as I reach, I'll try to make a video and I'll upload on the Badigans mobile game epic comparisons. So that's going to be really very, very interesting to see other combination. So make sure to stay tuned for those videos. So first I'll be able to clear everything from the background in all the phones and start opening the Badigans mobile game. At this moment, all the apps are completely clean in all the phones. As you can see, straight away, completely clean. So next thing is you should know about the brightness how much I have selected 70% in the Moto H20, Realme X1 Max, OnePlus Nord 2 and the Poco F3 GT. All phones 70% perfectly I have selected. Let's open the Badigans mobile game without wasting any time. So here we go friends and I am trying to use the same settings as usual which is a smooth and extreme settings only. So and during this time I will be connecting to the all the gain spaces, whatever available game enhancement, everything whatever is present in all the phones. So let me do exactly in the one place not to it should be somewhere around here yes as you can see all the game enhancement boosters has been turned on in all the four four devices now i'll try to start the match and i'll try to disconnect the cables in all the four smartphones and stopwatch will start at any minute at this moment i don't know to disconnect all so all the phones are completely disconnected and the stopwatch is started exactly as you can see friends perfect timing so so this is going to be really interesting let's see how much the battle life we can actually get from this all four devices so all the four devices are started to uh, perform and one more thing the brightness is slightly low in the moto h20 which you know about it because it has got i think close to 450 nits of brightness that's the kind of thing that is the reason you're trying to see slightly less brightness levels in this phone but let's check the temperatures maroon temperature is 28.4 exactly what it's showing here as you can see so phone temperatures 32.8 30, 33 in 32 kind of thing in the Realme X and Max, OnePlus Nord 2, 35, 34 and Poco F3 GT 33 and 32. In the beginning of starting the test, these are the temperatures readings for each and every smartphone as you can see friends. And one more quick note, for me it's not possible to play all, in all phones at same time, you know right. So, but one thing I can definitely do, I will keep on running in all the phones, yes, non-stop I'll try to keep on running. And during this time of testing, what is that, if you try to play you may get slightly different battery backup and if you try to keep on running it's kind of different so that's the reason i thought of informing you as well but meanwhile i can definitely do one thing i'll try to keep you posted what is going on with the phones i'll try to play one by one time randomly just to check how it's going on and gameplay experience how it will be there in the moto h20 if you want you can enable this high performance mode as well which is available and there's option for the touch sensitivity if you use this touch sensitivity 
the touch sampling rate option will increase yes it will actually boost it so maybe next time i'll try to what i'll try to do i'll try to connect to the same squad maybe in one uh, lobby all together and then i'll try to play it so that might be working but right now as you can see friends right now i'm trying to play this phone i'm just trying to show you the features what it has got there's some kind of acoustic lights as well which is present if you want you can enable that acoustic lights as you can see you get a light effect whenever you touch the screen or maybe if you try to do any kind of uh, game player on that that kind of lighting feeling but i'll try to disable that so which we don't require at this moment anyway so let's see friends how much battery backup we can actually expect uh, from this 4000 mAh of battery that's what the really interesting part not only that even looking at the other phones how those will be able to handle after the recent software update there's a lot of complaints i'm getting regarding these two phones realme x and max and not to even with the poco f3 gt as well they were unable to get the really good battery backup so that's the main reason of me doing this kind of competition friends so let's see which phone will be having what kind of results so i'm going to be back after some time continuously playing the games in all the phones non stop as i said i'll keep on running in all the phones let me try to do that so all the phones are will keep on running non stop as you can see friends so i can be back after exactly after one hour of continuously playing this is about the battery draining not about the gameplay and fps drop but i can give you some conclusion as well later on but try to focus only on the battery draining how much the battery will get drain so i can be back after one hour just to check the battery percentage and temperatures how much it can it can actually decrease and how much it can increase in the temperatures so don't forget to hit that like button friends definitely 2k likes target for this video you people can definitely make that kind of like target 2k it's not uh, very hard so next video i'll try to come up with another epic comparison so again i'll be back after one hour one hour so right now as you can see it's been getting close to exactly one hour of time as you can see clearly now let's check what is going on with the battery temp, temp percentage in all the four smartphones so this is going to be real interesting and all the four smartphones i did connect into the same as you can see Wi-Fi network and let me try to show you one by one what is the battery percentage. And right now the battery percentage in the Moto is about close to 87 percent. As you can see, friends, exactly. So this is using with the Wi-Fi connection. If you use the 4G data connection, the phone used to drain a lot. Yesterday I did do the 4G connection. That is the reason. And 87 percent we did see in the Moto at this moment and in the Realme X1 Max we are seeing about 89 percent. As you can see, 89 percent in the Realme X1 Max device. In the OnePlus Nord 2. The battery, I think, uh, it's about kind of close to 88 percent, as you can see, 88. So 87, 89, 88, and in the Poco F3 GT, I think it's going to be really much uh, 93 percent in the Poco F3 GT, slightly highest in the Poco F3 GT which we got. As you can see, friends, clearly how is the battery percentage? So one thing is that uh, right now I'm not playing the games continuously in all the phones. I'm just running continuously non-stop as you can see clearly friends. I'm doing my best to run continuously. That's the reason you are seeing slightly different kind of battery backup. As I said, if you try to play the game that will be completely different case in terms of the battery you are getting. So for me it, at this moment, it's not possible for me to play as I said and all the phones at the same time. That's why we are seeing this kind of battery backup. It's not draining much, but continuously I'm keeping this battery on mobile game. Keep on running continuously non-stop. So temperatures, let's check in the Moto H20, it's about 37 degrees right now. So 37.4 degrees in the Moto H20. And real makes on max maintaining around 36 degrees. So 37, 36 degrees and the one place not to maintaining 36 degrees as well. 36.4 somewhere around that and the Poco F3 GT is 35 degrees. In terms of the temperatures, as you can see on the outside temperatures, how it is. Maroon temperature is pretty low, it's only kind of same, nothing much changed. Only the Moto H20 slightly kind of a uh, little bit kind of hitting 37 and 36 and 36 and 35. As you can see friends clearly how it happened with the temperatures. So these are the readings for the first one hour. So 88% of the battery 37 Celsius and 36 Celsius and 36 Celsius and 35 uh, Celsius in this temperature readings of the, all the four smartphones. You can clearly see how it's happening. So the battery percentage as you can see friends right now it's not draining much but as I said this is continuously only keep on running all the phones so if you try to play the game using only one phone the battery life will be different so please try to understand so for example if i try to play only in this one phone the battery life will be completely different to the battery life to what and right now i'm running that's the one thing that is the reason we are seeing quite good so when the phone has got 4000 mAh of battery but still it was able to maintain really good battery backup as you can see at exactly 86 percentage at this moment we got Continuously, continuously non-stop I am playing the game only friends. I'll try to show you the graph as well after some time. 
I'll try to show you the graph, how it the graph looks and everything. So one good one thing is that uh, the advantage with the other phones, you can actually see the real time FPS meter. So where you can the real max and max, you can see the real time FPS meter how much we are getting. In the OnePlus Nord 2 also you can see the real time FPS meter. In the Poco F3 GT also you can see the real time FPS meter, but not in the Moto H20 at this moment. Real time FPS meter. Refresh rate you can see that, but not FPS meter. That is what I'm trying to mention here. So again I'll be back after maybe close to. Uh, Again, one more one hour of time, then we can check what is happening with the battery life between all of these four devices. As you can see, friends, right now it's been close to getting uh, two hours of continuously playing all the battery on mobile gameplay in all the four smartphones. As you can see exactly what is going on at this moment, and I have been continuously kept on running in all the four smartphones. Yes, absolutely. So let me to exactly show you what is happening in the in terms of the battery life. How much the battery life decreased in each smartphone? So is the battery statistics in the Moto H20. Right now the battery life is of 72% uh, in the Moto H20. It's non-stop only playing the battery on mobile game. Continuously. So using the Wi-Fi connection. Using with the Wi-Fi connection, it decreases to 72%. And Realme XN Max, 75%. As you can see, 75% in the Realme XN Max. And in the OnePlus Nord 2 is the OnePlus Nord 2, which has been decreased, uh, I think, to 74%. As you can see, 74 and POCO F3 GT, 80% POCO F3 GT was in the lead with the 80% of the battery left in this phone so what, what happens is that uh, within 2 hours sometimes the phones do not get uh, completely like fast discharge so they will discharge later after 2 hours of gameplay yes that is what I did observe in my experience so maybe for the next 3 hours I think maybe next 4th hour I think so the battery may drain very faster that is what I am expecting in all the three, all the 4 smartphones that is what I did observe even before as well but the thing about the latest software updates in all the phones which I am trying to play continuously I will try to show you even the battery graph as well where I did play continuously non-stop I'll try to show you the graph at the end of the video but right now let's check the temperature it's of uh, 34.5 degrees and uh, 34 degrees in the real mix and max one place not to 35 degrees Poco F3 GT 34 degrees 35 34 34 so only the one place not to is slightly higher which is 35 degrees rest of the phones are 34 degrees as you can see in the Moto H20 right now 2 hours continuously I am playing non-stop 2 hours the battery on mobile game is running continuously as you can see friends clearly what is happening and here we go the phone is still continuing with the same gameplay and I am trying to show you the graph as well as a proof you should know what is happening with all the phones in terms of the graph so is the graph as you can see the time as well and uh, battery phone battery usage you can see here clearly as you can see your usage time as well in terms of the battery on mobile game the one place not to let's see whether we can able to see it or not let's go to the phone and show you the battery settings as you can see same thing you can see here as well phone battery usage you can see here. same time so on the phones i'm trying to play only the battery guns mobile game continuously with the same percentage which i did choose before which is a 70 percent brightness only i'm trying to select during this process of testing as you can see friends exactly Battery on mobile game, the screen on time you can see how, how much I got. Same time exact as it is. It's perfectly matching to the time. So this is a quick uh, test friends after 2 hours of testing continuously non-stop with the 70% brightness. I have been running continuously only in all the 4 smartphones and I can be back after 3 hours. So right now as you can see friends we are getting close to 3 hours of time as well and let me just exactly show you what is the battery percentage and levels in all the 4 smartphones. At this moment the Moto H20 it's of 57% as you can see friends exactly. I am trying to use with the same kind of brightness only 57%. So I am trying to play non-stop continuously as I said I'm, I just keep on running. I am not trying to like uh, play physically. So because it's not possible that's the reason that's the one thing you should definitely understand. So 57% in this phone and 61% in the realme xn max as you can see clearly 61% slightly and in the oneplus nord 2 we are seeing about close to 60% 60 in the oneplus nord 2 61 60 57 and if we go in the poco f3 gt 67% as you can see friends 57 67 so one thing which is really shocking is that how the motor is performing like this i'm not sure how it's possible because right now i'm trying to play with same condition in all the three smart all the four smartphones to be frank same condition so same brightness levels i'm trying to keep i do know the brightness level is slightly less in this device but still so even the phone has got 4000 mh of battery it was able to like maintain 
So yesterday's video when I did upload a video on the battery draining results, let me let to show you. So this is a video which I uploaded friends, battery draining test. So in the test, I did use the 4G data sim and I did play the continuously non-stop in the device, non-stop. If you try to play like that, the battery will be close to five hours. So if you leave it like this, that's the, that is the reason the battery will be slightly more as well. And with the Wi-Fi connection, that's another bonus point. So with the Wi-Fi connection and with the mobile data, there will be difference of close to 30 minutes and 45 minutes in some phones. So that's most important thing. And let's check the temperatures, how the phones are behaving. So 34.2 and 33 34 34 34 and 35 somewhere around that so all the phones are behaving 34 degrees kind of thing and my room temperature is close to 25 degrees only my room temperature is pretty same like before nothing much has been changed during this process so all the phones are having same kind of temperatures at this moment nothing much major thing so one important thing i thought of testing is uh, testing these two phones real max and max and this phone basically because after the software update, a lot of users they did mention that the battery is draining a lot in this uh, two phones. In, I mean, in the Realme X and Max phone. That is the reason I'm really interested to see how well the Realme X and Max gonna perform in this kind of testing. So I'm gonna be back after next four hours of marks. So then we can actually decide what is happening with the overall. Uh, range of these phones how many hours we can actually get it so so far i'm really impressed with the 4000 mAh of battery in the motor h20 which can actually get straight i mean without playing continuously non-stop i think it can reach easily six six hours i think so around that kind of time but let's see what's going to happen so as i said one more thing the battery will be draining a lot faster when the battery person is kind of close to 30 percent somewhere around that it will drain very fast until now, the Realme X and Max and the OnePlus Nord 2 were able to keep very close side by side. Nothing much difference between these two phones at this moment. The Poco F3 GT, even though the battery is slightly 5000 mAh of battery, but it was able to have 6% advantage, 66% in this Poco F3 GT and 60% in other phones. Nothing much huge advantage I did see at this moment. Only 6% slightly highest in this phone. So I will be back after 4, four hours. So right now as you can see friends, it's been close to more than 5 hours of playing continuously in the battery runs mobile game in all the 4 smartphones. So first thing is I'll admit to check the battery percentage, how much it is in the Moto H20. It's of 23% as you can see friends, after 5 hours of playing continuously. So 23% in this phone got decreased, not bad, so 23% only. And as I said, I'm not uh, trying to play continuously, that's the reason you're seeing slightly better battery backup and connecting to the Wi-Fi also brings the slightly, uh, not draining that much of battery. So if you use mobile data, it will drain slightly more. And right now in the real mix and max, it's about close to 28 kind of percentage at this range. So 23 percentage and 28 percentage. And uh, in the OnePlus Nord 2, we are getting about 29 percentage. As you can see, 29 percentage in the OnePlus Nord 2. 23, 28, 29. And the Poco F3 GT, we are seeing about 40 kind of percentage, as you can see, 40. As you can see, it's 40 percentage. So overall, after the recent update only, I did feel slightly battery got decreased uh, in the Realme X and Max. So before, I think by this time, it used to be around close to, I think, uh, 35 kind of percentage around. So somewhere in the Realme X and Max as well. But still, after the recent software update only, A.18, I did notice slightly decreased in the battery life. Because previously, I did do a couple of uh, battery draining comparisons using this phone. So that's a pattern which I'll definitely uh, guess. So what is happening in this device. So if you want, you can check those videos as well for the proof as well. But this is a quick comparison between the battery percentage of all the four smartphones after playing continuously for five hours. And the temperatures also, all the phones are remaining pretty normal. Nothing much major uh, changes in, in terms of temperatures I did not notice. All the phones are maintaining around 34 and 35 degrees kind of temperatures. Nothing much major difference I did see during this point of uh, testing at this point. So I'm going to be back after maybe close to six hours of time. Let's see whether the Moto H20 will be lasting that much of time or not. So overall, I think till now it was really a uh, impressive score for the by the Moto H20. I would say definitely friends, non-stop playing continuously using this. And it was really good. And one more thing, I did play the gameplay yesterday. And during the gameplay, I did feel a lot of uh, like kind of lag as well. So during the gameplay, I need to use the third party FPS meter to confirm how much FPS is decreasing. And meanwhile, it will need to keep on running in other phones. This is the one thing only I'm trying to do, friends. Non-stop, I'm trying to run in all the devices. And it's good to have this kind of trigger options as well in the Poco F3 GT, which is really interesting to use. Trigger options, as I said. So maybe if I try to do the individual battery drain test, then we'll be able to get to know the more results. Individual battery draining test. It's not uh, doing like this running, but 
let's see what's going to be the final outcome so this will give the clear idea what's going on with the, all the four devices so right now haptic feedback you cannot experience in any phone there is no haptic feedback present in any other phone while gaming that's another thing so even the realme they do have but the option is not enabled for this uh, realme this phone realme xn max so i'll be back after some time just to check what is happening with the battery life between all of these four devices as you can see friends finally it's been close to 6 hours and 13 minutes and the moto h20 i'd got close to i think one percentage as you can see means clearly one percentage right now so continuously i'm playing uh, non-stop so for about six hours non-stop in this uh, Moto H20, I mean, I'm not playing, but I'm kept on running. As you can see, like other phones itself, same like the other phones, I kept on running non-stop in this phone. Let me need to show you the battery statistics. So overall, it, it seems to be kind of okay, I would say, in this kind of range. Let me need to exactly show you the battery status. As you can see, one percentage. And screen on time, you can see six hours and 13 minutes. Continuously, non-stop. Six hours and continuous. And here is the graph. As you can see, friends, exactly. Non-stop the graph. How it decreased. Let me try to, I'll try to take the screenshot and I'll try to keep as a future proof option so later I can actually discuss more details what is happening with this kind of uh, screenshot as well. And at this point, let me try to take a look at the other phones how they are. So, Realme XN Max is about 14% as you can see, 14% exactly. So, Realme XN Max and the OnePlus Nord 2 is doing, I think, 13%. Uh, so 14 and 13% and the POCO F3 GT, let's check this 5000 mAh of battery doing it around 23% slightly 23% not bad. So because I do know the phone has got the really good uh, battery capacity which is 5000 mAh, I think it's slightly more, not bad. But all these are the statistics for the first 6 hours and 15 minutes of time as you can see friends clearly at this point, these are the readings for the all the four smartphones. Let's see friends how long the phone gonna take to completely uh, discharge and right now I can feel the lag going on because of the broke battery indication that we are getting. Yes, it's uh, kind of not that smooth at this point, definitely. But right now it's of one percentage. Still, the phone is going on continuously. Let's see how much more time the phone gonna take. Yes, there's a lot of lag, and my room temperature is pretty low. It's only close to 28 degrees only, friends. My room temperature. So all one thing is that. So if you try to play non-stop games in the Moto H20, you can actually expect the battery backup kind of close to five to five and a half hours. So similarly like that, five to five and a half hours of battery backup. And if you use a Wi-Fi connection, slightly more battery backup. If you use a 4G data connection, five hours. So five hours and five hours, 15 minutes, somewhere around that. But if you use the Wi-Fi connection, maybe close to six hours as well. It depends upon the connectivity only most of the time and brightness as well. So right now I did select the brightness to 70% at this moment, that's another thing. So I don't know when you try to use the Moto H20 we'll try to keep the highest brightness because of this low brightness thing in this phone. So definitely I'll advise you to keep it high brightness levels and play. But overall internal impressions were really good friends with this phone. I don't know it's uh, I think third day of using this device but definitely I can feel the battery backup because of the stock UI experience you are getting really it it is really managed well. That's the one thing which I thought of just mentioning. I can feel the lag coming here. So yes there's a lot of lag going on i'm not sure whether you'll be able to uh, see in the camera or not but i can actually feel some kind of lag i can definitely understand one percent of the battery B this phone is basically not designed for the gamers so yeah not for the gamers absolutely not for the gamers but not for heavy gamers medium gamers yeah medium gaming maybe kind of okay but not for heavy gaming so if you want i can definitely do the another the battery and test playing non-stop so non-stop means only using this phone and playing continuously, not bothering like this. Because if I try to do this kind of epic comparisons, always I need to concentrate in all the phones, which should be keep on running every time. But I'm not spectating friends during this time. I'm not at all spectating, but I'm doing my best to run. That's it. This is what happens when you access the phones and when you drive, you will try to eat. So let's see how long the phone gonna hold. That's one percentage of the battery. Right now it's of six hours and eighteen minutes. I'm playing non-stop this game continuously. Not bad. So four thousand mAh of battery it did clear my all my doubts as well. So that's the one first doubt which I'm having with about the battery backup. So phone is shutting down. As you can see, it's exactly around. 6 hours and 18 minutes the phone got completely shut down in the Moto Edge 20 device.
in my testing so you can i don't know what you're thinking you are you may think that battery backup is getting more but the thing is that first wi-fi connection second only 60 hertz refresh rate and third only i kept on running i did not try to play so these are the things you should definitely keep in mind please so when you try to play and when you try to use using the real life scenario the battery backup may be slightly kind of less as well in the moto h20 that's another thing so as i said it's not possible for me to play in all the phones at the same time that's the reason i cannot play that right now but here we go with the realme x and max we're getting 13 percentage of the battery and uh, after the recent battery ba i mean after the recent update this is what i'm getting slightly kind of decreased little bit but not much just a little bit so anything close to six hours is pretty good damn good i can definitely say that anything close to six hours it should be kind of really good so always uh, do some kind of uh, minus of about close to 20 30 minutes because as i said if you try to play you will get slightly less battery backup so always do the minus whatever the value i get it so that will be the real correct scenario of uh, calculating how the phones are behaving so friends in terms of the gameplay in my experience i can say the realme xn max was able to handle but with the recent update the fps is capped up to only 70 percentage and you cannot use the 4d haptic vibrations in this phone that's another uh, sad part which you need to be uh, with that as well So if you are having any other queries, let me know in the comment section below. Definitely, I'll do my best to post the videos as soon as possible for you all. So finally, friends, we are getting close to seven hours of time. I'm still continuously playing Badrugans mobile game, as you can see. I did keep on running non-stop in all the phones and right now the realme x and max are to get the percentage of close to i think one percent exactly the phone might get a switch off any minute as you can see right now it reached to one one percentage so i thought of showing you the settings what we got in the phone let me just slightly decrease the brightness and let me just show the battery and as you can see six hours and 56 kind of minutes as you can see friends overall we did get the skin on time continuously non-stop only playing the battery ones mobile game continuous as you can see friends exactly what is the time non-stop i'm trying to play only six hours so this is a game which i did play continuously running so you should definitely understand if you try to physically take the phone and if you try to play the game then the battery life will definitely matter a lot so if you use the 4g data that also matters a lot so that will all together it will try to decrease up to close to six hours around that kind of time but in this kind of extreme test you can see here right now i did run in using the 70 percent brightness only at this moment and Realme X and Max was about close to 1% and the OnePlus Nord 2 was about close to I think 2% uh, even this phone is also training at this moment as you can see 2% in the OnePlus Nord 2 you can see here this phone two both fo I think both phones are completely close to equal nothing much difference and is a graph another thing about the Poco F3 GT with the 14% as you can see friends using the 70% brightness with a Wi-Fi connection with a smooth and extreme data connection only during the process of demonstration so next time i'll try to do with the full brightness test as well in case if you're interested differently i can do that video as soon as possible but overall these are the results friends and uh, moto h20 i think this phone did a really great job i would say for this kind of battery capacity what it has got 4000 uh, capacity it's really good to see but still the real life testing i mean if you try to use the phone and play that will be quite different The Poco F3 GT is going on and the Poco F3 GT is lead by only I think 13% right now it has got so one plus not two two percentage real max on max one percentage now real max on max may get drop any minute at this moment and both phones are continuously running at this moment and uh, you can see the phone will switch off at any minute as well but still not bad so i was able to get i think close to 60 fps it's maintaining even when the battery life is really low at this moment so if you're having any other doubts let me know in the comments below friends definitely i'll try to do my best to post the video as soon as possible for you all it's switch off 
6 hours and 58 minutes it got completely switched off in the realme x on max device non-stop playing that is the reason i did show you the graph as well before switching off so you know exactly non-stop the screen on time is exact 6 hours and 58 minutes only the screen on time so always i will try to show you the screen screen on time before actually phone getting switch off so even the oneplus not 2 also it reached to one percentage at this moment let me to go to the settings and show you what is happening in the settings option which is present in the battery and uh, here we go as you can see friends one minute six hours and 59 minutes exactly same and phone battery usage you can see the battery usage as well battery runs mobile game how many hours i did continuously keep on running so this much of time i kept on running non-stop in this uh, oneplus not 2 device even the oneplus not 2 also will get ended up very soon the poco f3 gt right now poco f3 gt is about close to i think uh, 13 percentage still it's remaining a 13 percentage around that not not an issue so if you use the 4g data that will be different and if you play it will be different and again it'll be back after sometime let's see how much more time the oneplus not to gonna take anyway the winner will be the poco f3 gt slightly advantage of having the 5000 mAh of battery this is what you get so one hour more than the moto x moto uh, h20 and maybe 20 30 minutes more than these two phones you may get the battery in the poco f3 gt that's it right now the oneplus not 2 is also getting and uh, here we go seven hours exactly and oneplus not 2 is about one percentage and 36 degrees is the temperatures you can see the temperature as well during this process of demonstration not bad And lag and I did not feel any kind of lag while playing at the lower battery capacity not not an issue let's see how long the phone gonna take to completely switch off I just want to show you in front of the camera when the phone is getting switched off so you know that exact minute what you can actually expect I think now the phone is going to switch off I think so I'm not sure no it didn't get switch off So one of us and uh, yes, still continuing the game. If you want, you can take a look at the real-time FPS meter during this process of demonstration. So how much FPS we are getting at this point when the battery is close to one percent? How much CPU and the GPU utilizing? You can see clearly how much it is utilizing: fifty-one percent and ninety-two percentage at this moment. Fifty nine FPS. The FPS was able to maintain really good, even in the low battery capacity as well. Fifty seven. It dropped just now. And even I did not use any kind of gyroscope sensor as well. That's another thing. If you use the gyroscope sensor, maybe things might get slightly changed as well. Still, one one plus not two is holding up the charging, so one percentage. And whereas the Poco F3 GT is still continuing running, as you can see, the Poco F3 GT is still on continuing the running as well. Let's keep this one aside and let's take a look at the Poco F3 GT. What is happening in the FPS meter? How much is maintaining? It's maintaining kind of close 60 FPS toward the test, not a problem. Right now we got the exact message saying shutting off as you can see, shut down. And exactly around 7 hours and 4 minutes, the OnePlus Nord 2 did completely switch off as you can see. It's exactly using this kind of mode, continuously running mode. 7 hours and 4 minutes. So, what are the score we got right now? always to the minus of close to 30 minutes or maybe 40 minutes somewhere around that because as i said if you try to play you will get less battery life i'm trying to repeat this sentence because you should not think you're getting here i'm getting more battery and you're getting less battery so that's a realistic way friends so please try to understand i don't know i'm not i'm trying to stress this much much more and more but hope you understand so again i'll be back once the poco f3 gt reaches to the close to the one percent or two percentage 
So final fans, we are getting close to 7 hours and 27 minutes of continuously doing the battery and mobile game test. In the Poco F3 GT right now, the battery reached to 1% of the battery, yes. At any minute, the phone can actually uh, get switched off. So let me just show you the statistics before actually getting switched off. And right now, the temperature is of 37 degrees at the end of the charging. As you can see, 7 hours of 27 minutes continuously, I was uh, playing the battery and mobile game non-stop. The screen on time, you can see and the statistics and all the details you can see here clearly so these are test results after the recent software update which is 12.5 uh, as you can see exactly so this is the exact update which i am trying to do the testing so it, let's see friends how long the phone can actually hold up and this is overall statistics with the, all the phones what is happening so 6 hours 18 minutes from the moto h20 6 hours 58 minutes from the realme x and max 7 hours the oneplus note 2 and the poco f3 gt may be close to 7 hours and 29 minutes or 28 minutes but one thing is that after the recent update in the oneplus note 2 slightly i did see the not draining much battery yes i did see that kind of change it is not draining much so before it used to drain, before the software update, I do remember the battery draining test which I did. The phone did last, I think, close to only maybe 6 hours or 6 hours, 15 minutes, somewhere around that. But after the recent update, slightly battery backup got improved in this phone. That is what I did feel in my uh, time of usage. But overall, friends, this is a quick comparison and uh, the Poco F3 GT has got slight advantage, as, as I said, only 30 minutes of advantage. And always try to do some uh, math and try, try to do some minus as well. So always uh, do the, I think 30 minutes or 40 minutes of time, always cut the, whatever the score we got. Yes, because as I said, right now, I'm not trying to play. I'm trying to just keep on running nonstop. So these exact statistics we got during this time of testing. And meanwhile, in case if you have any other queries, let me know in the comment section below. Definitely I'll be able to do those kind of videos as soon as possible uh, as per your request. So stay tuned for more updates, friends. I'm really interested to see how well this phone's gonna hold for the next upcoming test which i'm going to do very soon maybe tomorrow morning i'll try to do the charging speed test comparison with the same phones maybe if possible so which will also be a really good idea to do so i'll definitely plan that charging speed test or uh, if tomorrow morning if possible different defense and let's see how long the phone will be holding and right now it's one percentage still the phone is holding up with the one percent and with the wi-fi connection during this time and right now we got the message saying that it will switch off as you can see exactly so overall the time took in the poco f3 gt is about 7 hours and 30 minutes of time overall we got the extra time so these are the complete statistics about all the four smartphones in terms of the epic battery guns mobile game battery draining test results these are the results which we got as you can see friends so all the results are really good i think after the back after the recent software update only this kind of really good improvement i did see so real mix and max also i did feel before the battery draining was happening but when i did the testing i did not see any kind of uh, battery draining in my unit at this point continuously but still if you use the 4G data, the battery may drain. If you use 120Hz refresh rate, maybe the battery may drain. And if you use HDR plus extreme or 90FPS, the battery will drain. And depends upon all these kind of conditions only you should definitely understand. So these are the complete chart friends. And thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to hit that like. And definitely in the next video, I'll try to upload with the iQOO 7 ML Linux device and other smartphones which I got Poco F3 GT or Realme GT smartphones. So stay tuned for those videos in case if you are definitely interested. And these are the complete results which I got right now during this process of demonstration. As always, always do the minus thing and then you can get the actual score as well. See you in the next video for, for more updates. Meanwhile, signing off and final thing, Modo, I think H20 can give up to 5 hours minimum basic, 6 hours, 6 hours and close to 6 and a half hours. These are the basic statistics what you can actually expect out of these phones while gaming. I mean... 5 hours in this phone, 5 to 6 hours, 5 to 6 hours. In between that, don't expect exactly 6, but in between 5 to 6 hours, it will be there. So that's it, friends. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video. I'll be for more updates. Meanwhile, signing off. Bye.